Hello, it's Marco Mari here. I want to show you a quick trick about how you can use your YouTube account to make a short video. You know, this might be good for introducing a subject, showing your understanding of a subject. I actually used one recently to make a little book trailer. I'll show you how it works. First of all, you start up here on the little icon that once you're logged in, you do need a Google or a YouTube account to do this. You can't do this um, just out of the blue. So you will need one of those, but they're free at this point. And I imagine they'll probably stay that way. So you click on Creator Studio, or at least that's what I do. That's probably a simpler way. And you can see down here you've got Create. And when you click down, you've got Audio Library and Video Editor. So it's the video editor we're going to look at today. And I've actually got a video in there, so I'm going to pause that. And I'm going to go up to Project and Create a New Project. Um, so Create New Project. Yeah, I reckon I will. And I'm going to call it, oh, I don't know. Um my example film. So, now, I can put in all the videos that I've made so far. So I can slice and dice stuff that I've already done, but um, I'm probably not, this is, most people don't have a huge bank of videos that they've made, so I'll move you over to the really powerful bit of this, which is the Creative Commons videos. These are videos that people have put up and said, you know what, you can you can use these and my videos are creative commons you can use those so for example i'm just going to use the ones they've got but let's say i'm looking for i actually quite like this so public transport yep i'm going to grab myself a picture of a tram so my tram goes up in my window there but i don't want 30 seconds of a tram because you know what i'm just not that crazy about trams so what i'm doing is i'm watching the tram come into focus there it is at about six seconds it goes past. I'm wondering if it's ever going to do anything but be an out of focus tram at this point. Oh look, it's come into focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab it down the bottom here and I'm going to drag it across and make the start of the clip further in. There we go. He's starting to come in focus at 10 seconds. So I've shortened the clip. Now I grab it at the other end and I move it in because I probably only want a few seconds of tram going by. So there we go. I've now got 10 seconds of a tram going by in my clip. So I'm clicking my little X to go back, and there's 10 seconds of tram. Um, I don't know, close up of a lake. I guess maybe the tram's going to a lake. Um, you know, you could make do anything with this. But let's say I want a running dog. Because, I mean, who doesn't want a running dog? So, or I personally, I prefer a sleeping dog. Maybe we'll go for a sleeping dog. Anyhow, here's video. Time is running. 18 minutes. See, that's only... It's only 24 seconds. I kind of like the short one. So I drag that in there and I'm going to watch the video and I'm going to decide how much of it I'm going to keep. So again, I sit and wait. There's a video of a sleeping dog. And oh, he's running in his sleep. That's what he's doing. Oh man, I love it when dogs do that. That's so cute. Our old dog Indiana used to do that. I think Emmy Lou did too. I can't remember. She's alive, by the way, I'd say in the past, but I haven't seen her do it recently. So. Basically, I put these things together. I can um, use filters to change what they look like. I can put in text. I actually suspect that I can even put in... Um, actually, no, I don't know if I can put in transitions or not. I think I'm getting confused with another tool. But when I get to the end, I can just publish it to YouTube. So, oh, and I can drag audio down here so I can get some audio tracks up here. I don't often do this, but you can. You can put audio in there. Um, and I think you can even get the audio from that other library that we looked at of audio tracks. So you can make a basic little film, and if you wanted to do a book trailer or just a kind of, you know, introduction to Antarctica, or if you were clever enough, you could actually, um, you know, really finely craft something quite clever, and it renders it as a nice-looking video. I had some students who were saying they wanted to have people talking about their careers, that would be great, but you might have to watch like five hours of videos to get the 25 seconds that you want. So really, this frees you up to do that. It's a good tool, but keep in mind, to produce something of high quality, you're going to have to watch a fair bit of video. So there's your publish button up there that I'm waving my little mouse at there. I don't know if you can actually see it on the screen capture. I hope this is useful to you.